So my name is Emily Kamalo. I'm actually a account executive for Dialpad. I'm here with my channel team. Um, I've been with Dialpad for four years. Um, and so what's nice about Dialpad is while we are a little bit newer in the space, um, our CEO and founder, Craig Walker, is actually the founder of Google Voice, right? So when he built out Google Voice, he realized he wanted to focus more on a B2B product. And that's where Dialpad uh, came back into the picture in 2011. So since then, um, we have not only scaled our UCAS solution, but we've also acquired a company called Talk IQ, which is now uh, what we refer to as our voice intelligence. So Dialpad has four products under our suite. We've got our UCAS solution, Dialpad Talk. We've got um, a sales solution to call Dialpad Sell. We've got our contact center, which is Dialpad Contact Center, and we also have Uber Conference. All four of our products are threaded with uh, different types of voice intelligence. Yeah, and, and I guess it's kind of interesting, kind of the, the opposites a little bit. I mean, we think of Mitel being kind of the old guard a little bit that moved into the cloud back many, many years ago, but then all of a sudden now, uh, you guys are one of the new kids on the block, so to speak. But maybe talk about, again, some of the newer technology. I mean, you talk about the four key categories, but what do you think separates you guys being the new kid on the block compared to, say, some of the others that, that have been around a while? Yeah, so we consider ourselves a true modern phone system. Uh, that means we are completely in the cloud. The only thing that we really have is what you would consider hardware is our data centers. So we're a split cloud architecture. We run everything also off of the Google Cloud platform. Then we have data centers spread out amongst the globes to help with having that really great seamless call quality and the, the experience overall. Um, but what really separates us is the voice intelligence. So we're transcribing calls in real time. So you think about the way we work now you know, we're not really going to a desk every day. We're on the road, we're here at this expo. When you take a call, you normally don't have time to take notes. So you're probably going to forget key information. Well, at least I do. <laughs> um, and so after this call is completed, you can actually look at that conversation on your cell phone, on your desktop, on your iPad, and have that full transcription, and you can pull out all of that key information that you need from that call. Well, first off, that, that's kind of scary in that if this recording everything I'm saying, not just recording it, but actually transcribing the keywords I'm saying, but, but also I think it's a huge advantage. I think you've talked about in the past that not only does it just transcribe real time, but it also can use that intelligence to help guide you in that conversation. If you're, say, a contact center person or, or somebody on the phone, you can kind of guide that person to make correct suggestions in terms of what how that conversation go I guess right so I actually think about when I started Dialpad I had never been telephony before uh, I was a BDR I on my third day they threw me on the phones and when someone would call in I put myself on hold because I didn't know how to answer their question and sometimes it would take me over a minute or two to get their their question answered and so now because of those real-time pop-up cards or real-time recommendations what we call them if a BDR is on a phone or, or a call center agent and someone asks them a question, they're maybe two weeks into the job, the card will pop up based on a competitor, a feature, a common objective, whatever, it's customizable to everyone. The card will pop up, they can answer that question and carry on the conversation. So now you're thinking of call resolution times, uh, customer um, experience, right? It's more than just, um, for the BDR, it's also on the other side for the customer experience. And then also you think about it as coaching, right? You can see all of the cards that popped up in that conversation. So it's a leader, sales leader, support leader, can pull up those cards in that one-on-one -on -one with that person and say, hey, here are the cards that popped up. How did you handle that conversation? Yeah, and last but not least, maybe 30 seconds, uh, wrap up. Maybe what is your sweet spot? You know, if you had an ideal customer set, who would you think that would be? You know, particularly some of the agents in the room that are looking to say, hey, I mean, this would be a perfect dial pad customer. Yeah, sure. So I think sweet spot for dial pad is like 100 to about 500 um, employees. Uh, specifically, our sweet spot is uh, contact center, in my opinion. Uh, we can work with all sorts of verticals, right? Same um, as we mentioned before, legal, um, you know, uh, any real estate. Um, Real retail, I mean, really anyone that needs a cloud-based solution, we really look for someone who is um, also very mobile heavy, someone that needs that flexibility of being able to answer calls on the go. Um, that's really a sweet spot for Dialpad. And, and a lot of times people don't think they need all these insights into the conversations they have, but once they have that voice transcription, it's really a game changer for them. Good. Well, listen, I certainly appreciate your time today. Thank and you. give it up for Dialpad.